Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. The girls are here. We are not far from Rockport in Alpena, where the uh, we're actually sitting on bedrock here. But what's impressive about this place, really amazing actually, just incredible. This is all bedrock, right? And it's it's quite shallow here. But what's amazing is we're literally sitting on fossils. The whole area is made of fossils. We're walking on, sitting on fossils. The whole thing, everything, I don't know how well that shows, but you can see this is, oh, look at that. That one's just loaded with millions and millions. It, the, all, the, all the bedrock here is an ancient ocean floor and there's some kind of a long wavy patterned fossil right there it's sort of beautiful it's too bad i couldn't get that out no idea what it could be but i mean just look here everything we're just sitting on fossils we're walking on them the whole place is just loaded It's, it's just, it's mind-blowing to just sit here and walk on, on fossils. So, we're looking for any special, uh, unique specimens. It, I mean, it's just, ugh, it's, it's unbelievable. The whole area, every rock, everything you see, it's all sediment from the ocean floor from long, long ago. So if I find something unique, I'll show you. That's a muddy piece, but look, there's something in there. I have no idea what that could be. Um, it's hard to tell. Some of these are so dirty. Look, there's a bunch of fragments of things in there. Uh, it's so dirty, some of them. And also, it's so jumbled up. Things don't die in a very neat, orderly manner and settle down. But yeah, if I find anything special or unique, I'll show you some patterns in there. Well, anyway, we're beating the heat today. Oh, there's a nice one. I might keep that. Look at the, uh, the pieces in there. That's that's sort of neat. I might keep that. There's a lot of action going on in that piece. But it's supposed to be in the 80s today, and we just didn't want to deal with it. So we're here on the lake shore where it's just quiet and peaceful. It's just us. And we're just going to spend the afternoon here looking for unique specimens and uh, avoiding the heat. Here's an example. Look here, there's a, a flowery pattern here on the rock. And here, right here is the bedrock. There's all kinds of stuff in here, clearly visible. And that, that's undisturbed bedrock layer right there. You can just see all the, look at this. Interesting. I think that's a crinoid with the head. You never see them. You never see them intact like that. I've never seen one like that. And then there's some kind of a, almost looks like skin. I think that's a coral. Oh, look at this one. Look at this long one. You see that? I can barely see the, the screen. This is just, just unbelievable. Here, I don't know if it shows in the camera, but that's all fossils. It's sort of, uh, looks like it's got a lot of iron in it. So it's harder to see. Look here, just loaded, loaded with stuff. Look at that. I'm not getting anything spectacular. A lot of crinoid and some different types of coral. Some stuff looks like skin of an animal. Some cool, unique pieces just because they're really neat. Um, I forgot what they're called. There's like a, a clam type thing. And uh, there's almost looks like skin pattern. I think that's a type of a coral. I forgot the exact names. 
But, uh, oh, here's a good one. So, there's a lot of unique pieces here. Hold on a second. Just sitting where I'm sitting, there's a, a crinoid stem. There's pieces of stems. I mean, they're in abundance here. There's another one. There's another one mineralized. Looks like it's got some uh, uh, iron. I'm sitting here where it's almost turned to sand and there's another stem piece. Just uh, loaded with unique pieces, small pieces. Right now I'm just looking at little pieces, unique little uh, pocket pieces, just for fun. What's that? That might be a piece of slag. It's sort of shiny. I'm gonna keep that anyway. So, um, just digging through, you can see where the the water is bringing them out. The fossils are harder than the surrounding stone, and uh, oh, could be quartz. But the, uh, the surrounding stone wears out, leaving the fossil behind. There's a beautiful, tiny, tiny one, though. Let's see if I can get that up. It's got a really cool pattern in the middle. Look at that. That is really, really neat. So there's a lot of pieces. Um, some of them actually have holes in them already, so they could be used for jewelry. Um, there's also some, I mean, massive things. The whole area is just loaded with fossils. Well, back at the homestead, I want to show you some of my favorites. This is actually, see, these are crinoid stems, which is in abundance on the beach, but it's very rare to find a crinoid head. Now, what you got is a long stem coming up out of the ground, anchored to the ground, and then an animal lives that's almost like a backbone I guess and the stem comes up and then there's the head then there's more of these branching off smaller stems branching off of each of these bumps here and then from there there's a bunch of fine hairs it's very beautiful almost like a flower so they said that this is a very rare find out there where we were so that's unique I got a couple of them and then we got um, I forgot the official term but they're called moss animals and you can see the almost lizard-like skin pattern of them and then you have these pieces more flat that are just loaded just absolutely loaded with sediment from the dead animals through the years just amazing I want to see if we can do something with these Here's another one that stands out in contrast due to the different colors of the minerals. Look at how thick that is. It's just solid fossil. That's just amazing. So I just wanted to share that with you. That was our outing on a hot day to get away from the heat. Uh, please like this video and leave a comment below. Tell me your thoughts. Hope you liked it. Talk to you all later.